Hi, I'm David and welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video that I'm doing and today we'll be looking at the unboxing and setting up of the IFI Robot Vac 11C which is the um, Home Assist robot which can be controlled by Alexa or Google as well. So we'll start off by having a look at what comes inside. Okay. This is how it comes for directly from Amazon, with no outer packaging, it's just a box and a postage label, but that's absolutely fine because it is well packed. They've even provided some foam to protect the tempered glass top. So that's the actual robot, or the cleaner. You've got some spares, so you've got the two main bristles to go either side, two spares, charger unit, power supply. It does come with a remote, which it doesn't say it comes with in the advert, but it does come with it. A cleaning tool, which is absolutely excellent, and some extra filters as well. First of all, we'll set up the base unit. So we'll push the box out the side and open up the power supply. It doesn't need too much lead as I've got a plug close by. You need to remove all the protective film because it's got some IR sensors in the bar, both on the stand and on the main robot as well. And turn it upside down and we have the rollers which can be cleaned by flipping this out. This just pops out and you've then got your tool with a small knife in there which can be used to cut hair which gets tangled and just pops back in. Only way to put it back in so you can't get it wrong. They just push on. And if you've got your dustbin just in the back for easy emptying and your filter. The remote requires just two AAA batteries. And the wireless setup and running of it will do after it fully charges, as obviously it doesn't come fully charged and it does say it needs to be charged before the first use. So I'll pop that on charge now and we'll get back to it when it's charged. First of all, you need to find a nice clear space so that if you can have a run, base station down, plugs into the wall, and just tease the cable out, power on. Don't forget to turn the main unit on as well. Line the contacts up and she should charge. And then you place the tools in the little storage space. Here we can see that the power light is flashing blue and the Wi Fi light is also flashing, indicates it's not connected to the Wi Fi and it is charging. Once it goes solid blue, it will be fully charged. If it's red, it needs charging. We'll come back when it's fully charged. 
it's been a few hours now and we can see that it's finished charging as the power light is no longer flashing but the Wi-Fi light is still flashing indicating that it is now ready to set up so I've already gone to the App Store and downloaded the app and it's so I'll just open it up click add new device select robot back C set up as new just click next allow and add I'll add it to our network and now I'll enter our password okay so you've saved the password and then you've got to click the back button as you need to be able to get to the next button under there it will only connect to the 2G network not the 5G network so do bear that in mind whilst you're setting it up the next step now it's asking us to give the device a name by default it comes as RoboBack but we actually like the company name so we're going to just set it to FE and then if you've changed the name just tick, click on tick and then save and then you are done and good to go now it takes us through a brief tutorial and we'll see how it goes We've got an uh, open plan space, so we haven't got that many doors for it to go through. And had to quickly remember to remove shoes and bags and things from the floor. But it does seem to be making its way around quite a large park although it is a very haphazard pattern I'll let you know how long it takes to clean the downstairs and how well it does it's just tried to get into the carpet it struggled a bit but it did manage to Pull its way up, but it certainly is struggling on the thicker carpet. If you did have a bit of a problem here going over the mat, but it made a second attempt on it and did go back on, and it's now just gone through into the kitchen and navigating her way around here. If we did eventually manage to make it around the table, although we did pull the table out ever so slightly as it is a very tight space, didn't get quite around this side yet, but again it could just be repositioned the furniture slightly to give her a little bit more room. She 
she has done under that chair and around that table though so she is making her way around as much as she can she's now managed to find her way to the back of the table which with a normal vacuum to be honest with you I don't bother going as far back as that If you have long draped curtains, that could be a problem, especially if you've got tassels. But again, you'd be having to pick those up when you're doing the normal hoovering anyway. So being that you can set a daily schedule or weekly schedule, you'd want to have them kept out of the way at the time of the schedule. You can't tell what route this is going to take, it is seemingly randomly. It did however just manage to clean under the radiator cover, which I tried to get, but by the time the camera turned on, she'd finished. Whilst if he's still cleaning the downstairs, I'll go through some of the interface. I've just clicked on the icon for the cleaner and it takes you through more of a tutorial. And you can see um, its status and the percentage of battery. is talking about how to do the directional controls where the home button is cleaning mode edge detection or edge cleaning scheduling and find my robot whilst if he's still cleaning downstairs after half an hour although it looks like it's covered most places um, I think it's just going to carry on until the battery needs recharging we'll try and connect to Google Home so I've loaded up the Google Home app and then you go to Home Control Add Device You've now got to find FE Home and I'll enter my details that should now have gone through ok, battery's now died you can see it's gone red, the power light found her way home and is charging after just over the hour intensive cleaning of the entire downstairs on a basically random pattern, the battery dies, she's returned back to her dock and we'll check to see how much she's collected. It's a two hand operation, if you try and pull it out while she's charging uh, with one hand you will detach her from the base station and then she'll complain and go back in again. And so she has actually collected a fair amount of rubbish. Even though we do hoover on a daily basis. Not massive amounts, but you can see has obviously collected stuff that's accumulated over a day or from places we've missed. So quite impressed. After trying to connect it with Google Home, it does not appear in the list of devices at all. However, it does respond with voice commands. You just need to make sure you know the right commands to use. They are obviously the 
activation word for the Google Home Assistant, followed by the phrase, ask Robovac to start cleaning, or ask Robovac to stop cleaning, at which point the Eufy robot will stop wherever it was. If the other two commands are ask Robovac to go home, at which point it will find its way to the charging station, or we can ask Robovac to find my robot, at which point it will beep at you so you can find it. You don't get any indication that you've actually successfully completed linking it to your Google account. You just have to try it to make sure it works. Just always use the phrase, OK Google, ask Robovac to start cleaning. Robovac EP starting cleaning session. OK Google, ask Robovac to stop cleaning. Robovac EP stopping cleaning session. OK Google, ask Robovac to go home. Robovac EP returning to charging base. Hey Google, turn on the hallway lights. OK, turning on the hallway lights. a quick video about upstairs with the carpet and how it deals with the drop of the step. I've taken the side brushes off uh, so it doesn't wear out on the carpet as I don't think they're as necessary as they are on the hardwood floors and just wanted to save them from wearing out quicker than necessary. If I put her on, immediately the texture of the stairs and moves off. They do say to block stairs off so she doesn't fall, but I think the edge detection is quite good, or the drop detection is very good. And so we'll leave her going and see how she fares with them. So after our successful setup and installation, a full hour's clean, we found it's actually collected quite a lot of dirt and debris within the uh, bin, which was quite surprising considering we hoover the house every day. Um, so that's quite impressive that she's managed to collect so much. Did get stuck in a couple of places, but did free herself in the end. So all in all, for about 200 pounds, very good deal for a auto cleaning robot. A bit of fun, but also if you do have um, a lot of cleaning to do and you haven't got much time could be very helpful also if perhaps you're not so mobile and you can't do a lot of uh, the housework this could really free up some time and save a lot of effort so actually well worth the investment uh, I do recommend the Eufy AutoVac robot from Amazon um, check her out I'll give the link in the description if you have any comments uh, please post in the comments if you like the video click like and click subscribe if you want to get more helpful videos for all forms of tech and reviews. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.